previously on YouTube's The Drawing Dead. For the first time in the history of this vlog, I scrapped the vlog because it was uh, garbage. It was a super short session from a Maristar 2.5 in St. Louis during the World Series circuit stop. I played a couple hours, they left up $35, but my camera angle was kind of funky and there were really no hands to speak of, so I spared you and me the pain of sitting through it. Trust me on this one. Good morning. It's Friday, September 20th, and I'm packing up to head to the airport. I'm on my way to the airport. I'm on my way to Houston. Rain delays in Vegas. He's on his way to Houston. We're heading to Texas Card House for the Texas Poker Championships and to meet up with some old friends and to play some poker. Weather permitting, Hurricane Imelda has just run through Houston, canceling our flight yesterday. Tropical depression Imelda unleashed its wrath on Southeast Texas battering the region with pounding rain and flash flooding. The devastation reminiscent of some of the worst storms in U.S. history. I can't do much about hurricanes. Hurricane Melda is no joke. It is no joke. Houston is flooded. Like, I wish you guys could see what I'm seeing because this is kind of crazy. But anyway, I made it. I am here. I am in a uh, temporary room. The room that I'm supposed to be in isn't ready yet. Because technically I was supposed to be in it last night. Because I was supposed to be here last night. But since my flight was canceled, I didn't make it here. Since I wasn't here, they gave the room away. And the room isn't ready yet. So they gave me this uh, temporary spot. So I can change clothes and I can hit the gym. I'm going to work out a little bit before getting into that poker tonight. So hold tight while I get all this straightened out and uh, we'll eventually get into some poker. It's noon. I'm not going to play poker at noon anyway. It is 3.30. And you know what? It's time to head over. It's time to go find this game. It's time to hit the Texas card house. It's time to get into a game. Dan is here. And he does have on a, uh, a new hat. But he needed a nap. A nap. So he's gonna nap. I'm gonna play. We'll catch him later. It's funny, I really didn't know what to expect as I sat down in this game at Texas Card House. I mean, for years people have been telling me about how crazy the games in Texas are. Literally, years. After a while, 
you just kind of shrug it off. I mean, people say that about a lot of places. It wouldn't take long to realize that all the rumors I'd heard about Texas were understated. The session started out really well for me. I mean, as far as card distribution goes. In this hand, I open and get three bet to $55 holding ace-king suited. Normally, this is an all-day, slam-dunk, in-your-face, deal-with-my-aggression type 4-bet. But here, I don't know what's really going on yet. I don't know this guy. I don't know anything about anyone. So I just call, miss the flop, and fold. No biggie. Well, you might make the vlog. Yeah. I'd rather be in when I. All right, all right. I got, I got a little oh, bit of that. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, nope. I got five outs. Five outs? Nope. Damn, I thought that's what he needed. Yeah, right? I was like, yes. I need to get pull out cash. I'm coming back. I want my money back. <laughs> Okay, at this point, I've kind of figured it out. Kinda. These players don't like folding, ever. And on top of that, they like bloating pots and bluffing. This is my kind of game. I like these porno type, just put it in games. So here's a pretty standard hand. Early position opens to $15, and I call with a suited ace for middle position. And five people call behind me. Like I said, standard. Well, this is a pretty welcoming flop. Two overs, barely. Flush and straight draws. The action starts pretty quickly as the big blind donks for three-fourths pot into six people. Betting into that many people on this type of board normally means a pretty nutted hand, so I just call, as does the button. The turn five does bring in one of my draws and the big blind moves in. Although I block spades, it's still pretty likely that the button has some sort of draw as well, so I raise it up to $225 to charge him a bit, and he wastes zero time in overshoving for $350. Well, there's no chance I'm ever folding here, so I make the call. I miss my nut flush draw, and end up chopping the pot with the button, who has pocket sixes. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, he kind of got He just, choked. and he's still not. Verlander was pitching. Hit the upper deck. Like, nice to be in there, huh? No, I'm talking about it uh, when he hits. <coughs> he might touch five for you to have this one. 100. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's true. That's cool. So we're hours in, and this one okay. finally makes an appearance right in time for my mid session update. <laughs> so, rain delay has arrived just in time to hear me give the mid session update. Yeah, this, well, I hope this isn't a mid session update because then you'll be, <laughs> you'll be playing for like two and a half hours. <laughs> Maybe it's not a mid-session update, but I have to tell Quarter you. What's, session I have update? to I have to tell the people what's going on. What's going on? To tell you what's going on here for me. What's going on? Started off good. Mm -hmm. Playing one three buy into the big stack. I bought in for five hundred and uh, a couple hours in. Oh, you met your big stack? Yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A couple hours in, I think I have five oh five. So I'm up less. I'm up five hundred. Or I'm up five dollars. Uh oh. Oh, okay. You bought in for five hundred even. Bought in for 500. Well, you're up out for 505. Though. Up is up? I'm up stuck. No. I'm up stuck because I was up like, I don't know, 300. I can't make any end anymore. Something went awry. I'm in the uh, Jamin forgot how to play poker mode. Or I'm looking down at 10 4 offsuit every other hand. Either or. And what you hear in my voice might sound like frustration, but it's not. It's probably hunger because I haven't eaten. Yeah. This lady was nice to bring you some pizza. But we have a pizza here, and we have a Goodwill next door. So I'm going to uh, enjoy the pizza, and then go buy a new shirt, maybe. Did, did people know about your... Um... My thrift store thing? Yeah. I don't think so. I don't think we've ever talked about thrift stores. <laughs> on the blog? On the blog. It's shocking that's never yeah. come up. No, I, I, I should do a spin-off series on thrift stores. <laughs> anyway, now I'm babbling. It's time to eat, and then uh, I will catch up with you guys shortly. So we are probably about five hours into this session and I am uh, getting annihilated. I'm getting destroyed is what's happening. 
All those rumors you heard about Texas card games being good, oh, they're true. I just lost a, let's call it about a $950 pot flush over flush, followed a couple hands later by losing a $400 pot to 4-7 offsuit. I've had kings cracked by ridiculousness. I'm getting smashed. Currently as we speak, I think I'm $1,700 into the game and I think I have about $400 in front of me. Well, that's great. That's just fucking great, man. Now what the fuck are we supposed to do? Luckily, you can buy into the big stack in this game. And the big stack probably has about $2,500 in front of him. So I'm gonna top off. It's 10.30, it's not late. And the game is good. And I have rain delay at the table. So let's uh, keep playing good poker and see what happens. And hopefully, even if I have a losing session, it won't be as losing as it is right now. Cause I'm getting destroyed. <laughs> So what do you think of Houston poker? These guys are real treasures. <laughs> they are special. Wow. Treasures. Treasures is word, one way to, yeah, that yeah, is a good word for treasures. it. There you are, fish. I like giving you some food, too. You are my friend. You are special. It's, uh, it's basically, oh, Houston, poker in Houston, it's like a time machine. It's like you're going back to 2006. <laughs> 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 That's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> For 2300 and cash out at 1179. You were in for 26 and I cashed out 2040. That's not that bad. No, it's not that bad. I mean, but being stuck in that game in any capacity is very unfortunate. The game was magical. It was. It was a magical game. It was. There's really no real reason either one of us should have been stuck. This is a special place. A special place. <laughs> it's very special. If anyone has the opportunity to come down here and play, you should most certainly do it. You know what we have the opportunity to do? What? Play tomorrow. We do. And we're we'll be to... there tomorrow, really today. Later yeah, today. Yeah, today, yeah. Because it's like five. Because <laughs> it's five in the morning and I just put in a 12 hour session. So breakfast in two hours. Breakfast in two hours. Let's go get some shut eye. So we will see you tomorrow. That's it. Peace. Peace. Next time on YouTube's The Drawing Dead. Oh, God. It's just, it's just we're losing to you. It'll be fine with anybody else. You fucking mm. asses. Mm. That's why. Mm. Jason Braddock with ESB of Houston 97.5. Make sure to check out this next clip with our guy, Jamon Burton, straight from Texas Card House in Houston. Otherwise, it might just be a long day hanging out the airport. Otherwise, it might just be a long day hanging out the... So we're all done at the Texas Hurricane Amelda. 
has just run to you. But since my flight was canceled, I didn't make it here. I didn't get to the room. They gave the room a raise. But every time I turn on the camera, I'm just looking down at something. But every time I turn on the camera, I happen to just look down at something I'm gonna fold. Nothing. Ooh, pizza. Ooh, pizza. <laughs> is, there, is there more? Yeah. Oh. You want some? Yes. I